put the clicker on just for some. Woo! Woo! Had to get some dang pliers. Good fish there, Timbo. Thank you. Catch another one. People ask about boat noise. You know, be real quiet, be real quiet. I was a trout guide when I was a kid. We were super duper quiet in the boat. I mean, opening up a bag of potato chips, we break each other's hump. You know what I mean? That ridiculous to be that quiet. And, uh, you know, striped bass, you know, I kind of did the same thing when I, when I was catching stripers as a kid. And then I started to learn that the biggest stripers, the laziest stripers, go to all these commercial boats, lobster boats, clam boats. They're throwing bycatch back. They're noisy. There's chains. There's banging. There's anchor. There's guys slamming hatches and hoods, doors. And those big bass follow that noise. But I find you make a lot of noise, they'll come right up to the boat. They'll come right up to the boat. Especially bigger fish. Fresh water, the same thing. Probably more so in fresh water. Make some noise. Guys make these thumping machines. I'll just put a little picture of one in here. Just a hammer that drops and makes a lot of noise. Thumping just on the bottom of the boat. Brings them right in. So a lobster pot comes up, right? And there's 20 short lobsters in it. Where do those 20 shorts go? Back. Right over the side. That boat's making noise and they're throwing small lobsters back all day. I don't think I need to say more, right? Those big bass know that. They see those lobsters falling down. They get trained. Don't be afraid to make noise out here. I got a camera on you though because that screen was lit up with fish off to the left there. And that's where you cast it, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeez. Lots of fish on side scan. Fish under the boat. Wings World! Wayne. Wayne's got a Wayne's got a slob. Tommy's got a slob. Oh yeah. And the screen is side scan. Uh oh. Tommy's got one under the boat. Run up and around. Run up and around. You got it, Tommy. You got it. There you go. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh oh, you two are both a Thrasher. Oh, that's a good fish. Yes, sir. A little Thanks. better. He's got one on the 1978 ugly stick. 78 or 72, I forget. I looked it up, though. Well, I know it's old. Yeah, I wanted to know the date, the year. I think it's the first year that came out. Still on the screen, all over. Eric, you might have to cast. I know it's into the wind, but that's where they are. See? Casting into the wind with a weightless BKD. <laughs> oh. oh, the Lord is smiling. Oh, oh. 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 southern sigh. Blue. Snapped you off? Yep. Lost my spoon? It's gonna come out of your paycheck. Oh. Don't lose that one. What's the rule on this boat? Don't thumb the reel. Never thumb the spool. Never, ever, ever. I thought ever. I had broken off. I think thumb you took the up the slack. Is what thumb happened. the spool. But a spoon. Good. I, was, I thought we lost a Ben Parker spoon. Yeah. What ZZ Top song was popular in 1978? <laughs> I was three years old, so I don't know. Look at that. They're all over the screen still. They're drifting right with us. I put it over there. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Doubled? Yep. So that fish hit while you're reeling in, or what happened, Tim? Yeah, well, no, like, normal. Tim was dropped in his head as a child. Look at, look at.
Uh, you see them all? Yep. Wow, that's a big fish with them. Something huh? very big. Yep. Look at the size of that fish. Drop your jig down, bro. Get that jig in the water. Get caught up on him. He's right here. You see the size of the fish that was with it? I do. Yeah. If he loses that 10 pound fish, we don't we don't care. Tim, what you got there, buddy? Same as him. <laughs> Same bigger. as him. Except bigger. You hooked up, Eric? Yes, he is. Eric, what was going on? Keep that rod oh, high. Keep that rod bent, brother. I still got time to drive. I'm hooked up. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Tim only catches water buffaloes. As soon as he hooks them, he yanks their heads out of the water. <laughs> That's the Rich Colston rod, custom rod. Rich Colston's the man, head first custom rod. Thank you, you guys, Rich. You guys want a great rod. Great jigging rod, create any kind of rod. He'll make anything you need. 78 ugly stick is getting her done. There's no doubt. Is it? It's definitely smaller for sure. Yeah. Hi, Fishy. Hi, Mr. Fishy. You're very pretty. That's how old turned up. <laughs> That's like you throw the pliers over and then drop the fish in the bottom of the toolbox. All right. The reason these spoons are working is because we're very shallow. There's lots of bunker in here. They're big baits. These are 8-inch spoons. And the reason I like a flutter spoon in this situation over like a diamond jig or a... Uh, you know, a slow pitch jig, they call them all different names for, you know, just, just a solid piece of lead, basically, is the jig I'm talking about. Those jigs don't work as well in this situation on a vertical presentation because we're only in eight, nine feet of water. So, flutter spoon catches a lot of water, and as we're drifting, the spoon, puts, the line has a lot of scope on it, and the spoon gets away from the boat, and it kind of flutters out there. You can drop it, you know, rise it, drop it, rise it, drop it. And the flutter of that spoon kind of lets you use it in shallow water. Watch oh my boy. feet, mother. Jump up there. Go over the top of the motor if you need to. Don't pull them into it. There you go. Go with that motor. A whole lot of silliness out there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ready. Ready. That rod is so short, it's, it's hard to keep it bent sometimes. It's got good feel to it. Yeah. It does. Um, yeah, you don't have much. You don't have much to work with that rod. No. Screws holding that rub rail in. Ooh, ooh, not bad. Tommy, what you got? A fish. Fish. Tim, you, oh! <laughs> Tim's doing trick fishing now. Oh, that spoon went flying by your ear. I'm gonna sit up. I'm so excited we got Tim can. It's <laughs> rubber biscuit. I can't believe I couldn't count how many fish I caught. Do no wrong, right? There's just so many fish on this wind blown side. Got an $800 spinner reel on an $18 rod. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that rod cost in 1978? Probably about 24 bucks, right? I doubt it. Maybe less than that? Less than that. Well, I remember Probably I said. Probably got it. I had two guys. <laughs> nice. Two guys. Uh, yeah, two guys. That's right. K Way. I remember. I saved up for my first ugly stick light in, and uh, it was 27 bucks at Kmart and I shoveled so many driveways. <clears throat> Here you take it. Shoveled so many driveways to get that ugly stick light. I know your younger generation has no idea what that means. <laughs> the shovel driveways. <laughs> but yeah, ugly nice. stick lights. I'm there. I'll never forget the ugly stick light it was 27 bucks. That's a nice fish. Okay, it was Kmart. That's fish. Turn loose. That's not a Kmart fish. Yeah. It's a K-Way. Long male. Pretty fish. Pretty fish, Eric. Good job, brother. Another Van Parker. 
One of these days I need to meet Ben Parker. Say thank you for your lovely spoons. And you're now watching Team Old School Striper Fishing on the tuna.com. Team Old School Striper Fishing.